Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video. And in today's video, we're looking at Clash Big Mom. Now, Treasure Map drops in about three hours time from me making this video, and um, Clash Big Mom is actually uh, a rate, well, point booster. 1.2 times point booster. And um, she's pretty... She's a pretty good unit, um, especially for speed farming. You can find many uses for her on like Jack Team and stuff like that if you haven't finished her out. But the main reason I'm making this video for you guys today is right before Treasure Map, if you haven't maxed her out, I would definitely look at having some copies ready to max her out. Now, I'm hoping a double special level up will drop at the same time that the Treasure Map does, but I couldn't find anything in the news to let me know that. But basically, Clash Big Mom. Now, sh her special... She cuts the crew's HP by 50% and then deals 100 times the HP lost as non tide damage to one enemy and then changes slots randomly unless they're recovery slots. So basically she just takes away half your HP, throws it as mass damage to one unit. Now the big reason this is all, like the big reason that she's go so good is she has a double special launch. So you can do that twice and cut your HP by 75%. She also has, oh, she also has the um, Limit Break material where she gets four turns of cooldown at the start of the quest. So she can basically start with her special. Now, the reason I'm making this video, as I mentioned, for Treasure Map, is there are two main units that are boosted in Treasure Map. The first one being this guy right here. Where are you? V2 Rayleigh 6. I pressed the wrong one, that's why. V2 Rayleigh 6 Plus. Now, V2 Rayleigh 6 Plus, he's a 1.35 times booster. And um, to get his special where he changes empty orbs, which works great for one of the mini bosses, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Works great for the one of the mini bosses. You need to be below 50% HP. So you can actually use Big Mom on his team to trigger that effect. The other really good unit that um, she can be used on, especially for this treasure map, is Quick Beard. Now, obviously, Quick Beard gets stronger the lower your HP is. Um, and he's really, really good at taking on one of the mini bosses as well. So, if you haven't finished it up and you're looking for something to do before Treasure Map to use your stamina, definitely farm up Big Mom. I have three teams for you guys in this video, and I have thrown on the uh, Ambush at the end because Ambush uh, Whitebeard is out at the moment. I'm not going to show all those videos because basically he's just a meme at this point. Um, all three teams can clear it very, very easy. But let's hop in and let's check out the teams. Alright guys, so the first team I have for you guys in this particular clip is actually a Double Shanks crew team. You guys know me, he's my boy, we're bringing Double Shanks crew whenever we can. So on stage 3 is when it starts to get a little bit tricky. On stage 3 we get 5 turns of attack down, and then on stage 4 we actually get our captain's specials reversed. So with this particular team we're going to use Colosseum Law to remove the attack down, we're going to use Clash Pika to become our captain, and then we're going to use our friend Shanks crew captain as we're going to lose it anyway, so we may as well use it. We can then blitz our way through stage 3 and move on to stage 4. Against stage 4 we're going to come up against either Daifuku or Barbaros and his little gang. Now as I mentioned when you enter this stage we get our captain's specials reverted all the way back to the beginning. So you do want to try and bring like a character that can become your captain as we don't need Pika's cap um, special ability anymore. On Daifuku we still have the chain lock from Shanks crew so we can just blitz our way through Daifuku. We're going to use the switch ability of our Shanks crew to give us an attack boost as well and that way he just doesn't even stand a chance with um shanks as like the the dual form as well as having the end of turn damage we had an extra like 2.7 million end of turn damage on top of that so daifuku just gets clapped so does barbaros as well like you don't have to worry about it. it doesn't matter which one you come up against against big mom now big mom is going to hit us with i think a 50 percent hp cut and then she gives us 99 turns of burn now each burn hit is around 5k and she locks our ship for 99 turns so we can't use our ship special or the ship's ability is well and the ship's ability is is negated as well so on big mom we're going to use the switch ability of our shanks crew to give us a few orbs and as well as an attack boost we can then use our shanks crew to give us a chain lock and then we can use our luffy special to give us an orb boost now that luffy is replaceable with basically any other luffy uh treasure map luffy might actually work a little bit better as you don't need the carryover effect anyway and we're getting a chain lock, so we don't have to really worry about the chain boost. But the main reason I brought a Luffy is so I could attach the 20th anniversary Frankie for the um, the defense down. Just gives us a little bit of extra damage because we have to hit our greats on this particular stage. Bringing the treasure map Luffy gives you an extra color affinity as well, which is probably a little bit more beneficial. 
After you kill Big Mom, she actually reses, so make sure you don't hit perfects, otherwise you will cop that burn damage. And when she does res, she gives you 99 turns of orb sealing, so unless your character has a complete immunity to that, um, you can't really, like, like bring orb boosters or anything like that. So we brought Cracker here. Cracker's going to give us color affinity, as Cracker is a blue unit, and so is our Shanks crew. So we can hit with all of our perfects, and then let Shanks crew's end of turn damage do the rest. See you later, Big Mom. On to the next team now. This team actually was just incredibly fun. So this is a double uh, kid-led team. And the only thing to note is we have um, page one on our x Drake. Now on stage three, as you guys know, we get five turns of attack down. So the support of page one on x Drake will remove that. Now, if you guys don't have page one, now you could always replace uh, King with like an attack down remover. Um, basically anyone that removes five turns will work fine. Otherwise, the support of page one, or even just bringing page one as well, but you didn't really need to worry about that as we can stall out a turn on the Daifuku stage or the Barbaros stage, depending on which one you get. Or if you get lucky like I did here, you could actually stall it out against the uh, Seahorses. On this team, we have Smoker. Smoker is going to become our captain and uh, he's going to cop the reverse. You can use the kid special on that stage three as well if you just want to blast your way through it as well, as you're not going to need that moving forward as well. We got Barbaros on this particular stage, so we're actually going to use a kid special. Uh, sorry, a kid super typing. That's going to blow away basically all of the fodder units in the back and just give us a full board of bomb orbs to deal with Barbaros. Now, if you get Barbaros, it works out quite well because you can actually stall that extra turnout for the attack down, but it's not the end of the world regardless if you get Daifuku. Moving on to Big Mom, as you know, she does a 50% HP cut. She gives us 99 turns of burn and she locks our... our uh, ship now the beautiful thing about this particular team is we are mono decks so we have color affinity we have king on this team he's going to give us a self procking conditional boost and then we can use the super typing of our kid to give us a full or board of bomb orbs we can then use the special of x drake he's going to lock those bomb orbs and give us a 2.25 orb boost and with that we can just hit with greats and <laughs> big bub dies like she just melts absolutely melts with this particular team Unfortunately, when she does res, she does come back as a strength unit. So we do want to hang on to our kid special as um, the attack boost is way more beneficial on that particular stage. And having a chain locker is going to help us out with the extra damage as well. So we have V2 Rayleigh 6 plus on this team. Now, if you have max limit break in your kid like I have, you actually have full immunity to orb sealing. So, or orb locking, whatever you want to call it. So Kig is actually going to have... Um, matching orbs for this team as we're going to have super bomb orbs and if you just hit with Rayleigh and then your two kids that have orbs you will just blast your way through big mom's hp sort of fairly important that you have the orb ceiling um limit break maxed on this team as you do need kid to be doing all of the damage at least one of them anyway you definitely need at least one of them the final team is a sugar team so these three units that are in this video these are my favorite units to run as leaders at the moment having a lot of fun with sugar always having a lot of fun with kid and every time i can i'm just gonna bring shanks crew like it's it's not even a not even a question so on stage three to remove the attack down with this team we are going to use our boblin special now we are going to cop the bind on this team now as long as jewelry bonnie doesn't get binded um or cp9 you're pretty much fine like it doesn't really matter but you don't really need it anyway so we're going to use the cp9 unit to become our captain on this particular team and then we can use our friend sugar special to turn um our bobbins cp9 our sugar and um did i not turn bobbins oh, okay cool um and our sugar into bears the only one we're going to keep is the jewelry bonnie unit there um, as that way we've just procced the super typing of our sugar unit so we can use that orb boost on this particular stage against Daifuku or Barbaros depending on which one you get so we are going to use that super typing of sugar here as we don't need the two of them on the res because we just don't have orbs and with that we can just let the bears do the work but hobby hobby see you later sugar's just so much fun but you need to make sure that you do keep that, um, well, actually, you could probably even turn Julie Bonnie into a, into a bear. It's not really going to matter. As moving into the final stage, they all turn back to normal anyway. On the final stage against Big Mom, I am going to use my Julie Bonnie special. That way, we get the two turns of attack boost to our quick units. We can use our Sugar special to give us a full 
bunch of bears and then we can use the super typing of our sugar to give us an ore boost now i kept nami alive in like as a not alive <laughs> i kept nami as a uh, nami in this particular clip but uh you could actually use her special whenever you like when big mom reses she is immune to everything so using nami on that particular stage will actually give you a lot more damage as well um, otherwise you can replace her with someone like Cracker or like a color affinity booster, someone like that for on the res, but with Big Mom being a strength unit on the res, like we don't have to worry about it too much as we do have color affinity. In this team I just use the Nami special just cause, um, no particular reason why. But um, Nami also had the special seal removal, so I mean turning her into a bear and using her special on turn on the first turn would have been a lot more beneficial, but as you guys can see, the bears just have so much damage that we don't have to worry about it too much as we have color affinity. Sugar's just so much fun. All right, so as I mentioned at the beginning, the final clip in this video is actually the ambush against Whitebeard. Now, I'm not gonna show all of the videos from uh, the Whitebeard ambush as this has just become an absolute meme uh, at the minute. Uh, the content is, like he was the first ambush and he's fairly old now. So like, it doesn't, take too much to beat him but i am just showing the kid team as it did it like easy claps like not even a question um you just make your way through it stall out wherever you can just to get your specials and basically the way this team works is you just let kid do the work um on this stage here if you want to you can actually just blast them with a um kid super typing as you're not really going to need it like both of them anyway but king does have barrier pen so you can just use king to get through the barrier which i did here worked out fairly well and then you can just stall on the turtle in the back there Turtle, i think you can only take like two shots i'm pretty sure you might be able to take three yeah i think you can take three um so you can get a little bit of stalling there but once you get your captain specials you can just make your way to the end and finish him off there's no normal attacks only debuff there's no burn there's no bind there's no despair the whole point of this concept when it first came out was uh wipe it had just such a crazy high hp pool i think it's around six mil yeah i think it's around six mil um and that was like the tricky part as like there wasn't this crazy power creep like 4.5 times captains just didn't exist um but in saying that he like he's definitely you know i don't know if he's like a good unit i don't know if i'd say he's a good unit but um neo ambush was fairly okay but if you haven't finished him off like now's the chance to do it i guess as kid just absolutely claps him and if you need skulls, the reason I was doing it too is mainly for skulls. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to stay up to date with more OPTC content I post, hit the big red subscribe button too. But guys, most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. As always, I thank you guys for watching and I will catch you all in the next one. Lights!